Whether it's the Iranian president claiming it has no right to exist, or its parliament building homes in territory it technically doesn't own, Israel always seems to be in the news, and the news is often contentious. This is due largely to the circumstances surrounding Israel's creation, the end result of several intersecting movements, events, and political developments of the 20th century. Though the real political maneuvers which fostered the creation of Israel took place in the 20th century, the movement of Jewish people back to the Holy Land began even earlier. In the mid and late 19th century, anti-Semitism throughout Eastern Europe led to violent attacks against Jewish people. These had occurred sporadically and locally throughout European history, but these attacks were particularly fierce in Russia, where pogroms killed thousands. In reaction to this persecution, many Jews began to believe the only way to ensure their own and their community's safety was to begin organizing in solely Jewish enclaves. Many of these same Jews believed in Zionism, the belief that the Jewish people should return to the Holy Land and establish a Judaism-centered state. By the mid-19th century, this region was largely inhabited by Arabs, many of whom were Muslim. What few Jews who already lived there were largely concentrated in Jerusalem. As the Zionist movement grew, large groups of Jews began migrating to the Holy Land in the 1880s and setting up Jewish agricultural settlements. Only a decade later, Theodor Herzl began publishing a magazine promoting the creation of a Jewish state and held the first Zionist Congress in Switzerland in 1897. Herzl was the man whom many consider the founder of political Zionism. Despite offers of territory in Africa from colonial Great Britain, Zionists wanted control of ancestral territory in the Holy Land. Indeed, another large wave of Jewish immigration to the Holy Land from Eastern Europe took place when violence against Jews escalated once again in Russia after the turn of the 20th century. Many of these new settlements were bankrolled entirely by wealthy European and American Jewish families. In the first half of the 20th century, the Zionist movement continued to gain support amongst Jews and non-Jews alike. For example, in 1917, the British government signed the Balfour Declaration, which stated that the British government would do everything in its power to create a Jewish state in the Holy Land. This support was a huge boost for the Zionist cause, because Great Britain controlled Palestine after the breakup of the Ottoman Empire following World War I. This endorsement in part led to another huge surge in Jewish migration to the Holy Land in the decade immediately after the war. Meanwhile, anti-Semitism was growing at an alarming rate in Central and Southern Europe under fascist regimes, most notably in Germany and Italy. Jews were singled out and often forced to wear clothing which identified them as Jewish, and violence against Jewish businesses and Jews themselves became state-sponsored. During World War II, the vitriolic anti-Semitism of one man in particular, Adolf Hitler, led to the worst genocide of Jews in modern history. During World War II, Hitler's German forces executed approximately 6 million European Jews. The Holocaust, as the genocide of 6 million Jews has become known, created worldwide sympathy for the Jewish people and the Zionist cause. In 1947, only two years after the end of World War II, the newly formed United Nations passed a resolution calling for the creation of two states, one Arab and one Jewish, out of the British Mandate of Palestine. The resolution divided Palestine into two states and left Jerusalem under UN control. While the Jewish population in Palestine and abroad was overjoyed at the creation of a Jewish state in the Holy Land, the existing Arab population of Palestine was outraged. Violence between Jewish settlers and Arabs in Palestine soon escalated in the territory, and both sides armed themselves. When Britain pulled out the last of its troops in May of 1948, David Ben-Gurion declared the independence of the State of Israel. Palestinian Arabs and the Arab world in general saw this establishment as a major encroachment upon Arab sovereignty, and the Arab League nations of Egypt, Transjordan, Syria, Iraq, and Lebanon rushed to Palestinian aid and declared war on the new Israeli state. The Israelis themselves mobilized quickly and combined their many paramilitary groups into the Israeli Defense Forces. Despite initial setbacks from the pan-Arab invasion, Israeli forces slowly took back territory, eventually occupying even territory the UN intended to be part of Palestine. When the armistice between Israel and the Arab states was signed in early 1949, Palestine was only left the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, and even these were held by Jordanian and Egyptian troops respectively. 
After Israel had fought off the Arab aggressors, it established a parliament, called the Neset, and was admitted as a member state to the UN in 1949. Since then, Israeli relations with its Arab neighbors and the Palestinian population within Israel has alternated between contentious peace and all-out war. For example, in the late 1960s, Israel launched a preemptive strike against Egypt and Syria and quickly took control of the Golan Heights, all of Jerusalem, and most of the West Bank, virtually eliminating the Palestinian state from territorial existence. The early Zionism of men like Theodor Herzl and the increasingly hostile treatment of Jews in Europe spurred the mass migration of Jews back to the Holy Land. International support and sympathy for Jews helped further the creation of Israel, especially after Britain was ceded control of Palestine during the breakup of the Ottoman Empire. The tumultuous history of Israel after its creation stems from it being carved out of an existing state where a large non-Jewish population already lived. Palestinian support from other Arab nations, coupled with Israel's preemptive strikes to safeguard its very existence, have made the Middle East a highly volatile and unstable region.